Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2.2 EX diesel. You can see here it's a 64 plate car, and this one's covered 48,000 miles. Finished in white with the contrasting black leather interior. Uh, they, they look fantastic in white, these cars, because it's not just a big blob of white, you've got the black trims, black roof to break it up, and it just sits so well on the car. The car's in really, really fabulous condition. And front of the car, very clean indeed. Just the odd, very tiny and minor stone chip which you're going to pick up on any car, but they are very, very minor indeed. Uh, coming down the near side of the car first, and it's absolutely mirror smooth on the panels there. Upside front wing, absolutely clean as a whistle. Oh, sorry, near side front wing. Near side front wheel, really good. Just a little, a little bit of curbing right on the outside edge. Um, on one of the corners as you can see uh, but again I'm being hard on the car but I like to pick on everything I possibly can panel work wonderfully clean and original near side rear alloy completely unmarked coming around the back of the car again all in fabulous condition and around to the off side driver side of the car now so as with the near side it's dense free on the panels, absolutely it's clean as a whistle. Offside rear alloy, completely unmarked. And these remaining panels are very, very clean indeed. I always say that there will be the odd tiny little brush mark or uh, mark of the car I can't see or pick up on. So please, please do bear that in mind. Uh, rear, no sorry, front offside alloy, again, wonderfully clean and a full set of matching Michelin tires which is always a lovely sign of ownership on any car. It's coming into the boot area now, and they are enormous boots on the CRVs. Um, beautifully kept this one as well. No signs of sort of scratch marks and entry marks going in or out of it at all. Um, quick release uh, rear seats to flip and uh, fold down. You can see the handles there, and you get exactly the same on the other side as well. It is an electric tailgate, and obviously all working exactly as it should. Coming to the back of the car now, all the door cards are in super condition. You can see there just how much legroom we get in these CRVs, it's amazing. And that's with the seat set to my driving position, I'm over six foot tall. Um, leather work, again, in absolutely fantastic condition. So it's not always the case with CRVs, I mean they're beautifully built, but they are built for a purpose, and that's the furry kids about predominantly. Um, that means the back of them can be um, quite heavily marked, but this is wonderful. Front passenger door guard, again, really clean, even the little recesses. Oh, that air is all lovely and clean. The front passenger seat here exhibits virtually nowhere at all. It looks like new. So finally, just come to the driver's door card. Again, really nice and clean, scratch-free, mark-free. And that should put memory seat buttons there as well. And then we've got your electric driver's seat, which again just looks in glorious condition. So sat inside the car now, engine's running through this section so you can see the dashboard illuminated. The dash looks brand new, it looks in fantastic condition, it really does. So I'm going to close the electric blind on the panoramic roof because it tends to glare on the uh, sat nav screen otherwise when doing videos but all working perfectly as you can see. If I pop the car into reverse, you get this lovely clear gridded parking camera as well. But it is just so well made in here. It really is a fantastic, very high quality car. Um, everything's working beautifully. Air conditioning, heated seats. If I come across to the, that's the view you get as a driver. It's a really um, good cockpit for driving a car. See there, 48,790 miles, no warning lights at all on the dashboard related to the engine or any other part of the car, as I always say. Um, Multifunction steering wheel looks pretty much as new in hand and all operating exactly as it should. And it really is a fantastic example. Finally, just to quickly show you, very important, owner's manual pack is here with the car, as is the locking wheel nut key for the vehicle. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2.2 EX diesel, 
This car's registered LG64, LDZ, and mileage at the start of the road test is 48,790 miles. The reason we do these road tests is essentially so that anyone that's actually looking at the car online in an advert gets to see that vehicle in operation. Uh, we think it's important uh, that we can give some feedback on the vehicle, uh, but most importantly is to let you know of any issues with the car prior to coming to see us. You know, we know what it's like to travel an awfully long way to go and see a car, only to get there to find out it's got a fundamental problem when you get in and drive the car. And, you know, it wastes everybody's time. Um, so hence that's why we do it. Road test is also done on these lovely quiet country roads very close to our premises. So hopefully we're representative of what you'd feel yourself if offered a test drive on the car. So coming to the car itself, um, engine starts absolutely instantly, settles to a completely smooth, even idle without any fluctuations. Um, no warning lights at all on the dashboard relating to the engine or any other part of the car. And temperature gauge is currently running at a third, which is, which is exactly where it should be on a Honda car, whether it be petrol, diesel or otherwise. Um, but the engines are fantastic to sit behind and use. It's a very, very refined engine. Um, only really in the lowest gears, first and second gear, are you really aware, in all honesty, that it's actually a diesel. Um, it's got a really lovely power delivery, um, a sweet engine note, there's no kind of harsh rattly diesel noise to it at all um, and what's lovely is unlike some engines where they kind of give nothing then loads of performance then nothing as it drops off a cliff at the other end this has got a wonderfully linear power delivery so from about 1400 rpm as it just pulls hard all the way through to the four and a half thousand rpm red line and uh, red line on the engine uh, without any kind of sudden surges or dips in performance uh, but it really is a fabulous fabulous engine um, cam chain driven of course there's no cam bolts on these cars so there's no big major service looming in that respect engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox clutch on the car absolutely perfect bike point is exactly where it should be pedal smooth and positive in operation gearbox uh, said many times on this generation CRV um, yeah, this is a gearbox that could fit sit in any Honda car even ones with kind of sportier aspirations because it's a lovely lovely gear change um, it, it's very short in throw which is rare for this type of car um, but it's just got a lovely kind of click click action to it um, brilliantly designed sort of um, springing and gating on the, the, the gear lever uh, just a joyful thing to use and not always easy to achieve actually because the gear lever here is joined to the gearbox underneath by cables as most cars are these days um, but it does mean that some manufacturers seem to just you know think a sort of big wafty wand type gear change is acceptable um, Honda clearly don't so all in absolutely perfect order there steering of the car again real strong point on these crvs um, tracks absolutely bullet straight there's no vibrations at all coming back to the steering wheel that should be shouldn't be there um, but it's got a lovely precise action to it very accurate so when you go through corners like this turn in minimal movement on the steering wheel body control is really good with the chassis so it's matched very well to the steering and i can't feel anywhere through the steering system at all chassis likewise you know it is honda you know this is the best selling suv in the world so honda know their market very well indeed um so they've got the handling and ride compromised because that's what it is um absolutely perfect it's um sorry the light that's pinging on just a fuel light by the way so don't panic um the because yeah we're basically some manufacturers go for kind of a soft soggy ride um which is great on the straight ahead but when you come to corners like the one coming up here, sort of tighter corners, you tend to find they can lurch in and out of bends. Um, and it can be very, very uncomfortable indeed, actually, uh, especially for the rear seat passengers, less so for the, uh, the ones up front. Um, but this is, this is just, as I said, very, very well done. It's very comfortable, uh, but it's got very, very good body control at all other times. What I'm looking for on these road tests is, so I'll just pull a map back from under my feet, um, 
is any science, you know, when you're hitting a bump, you can hear it hitting the bump because you're meant to be able to. Um, but what I don't want to hear is any kind of secondary noise, noises, any sort of chattering is going on, and there's nothing at all in the vehicle that's absolutely perfect in that respect. Look around inside the car, it's just in amazing condition. It's lovely, lovely condition in here, but a great dashboard as well. Um, it's simple, easy to use. You're not blinded with science. It's very, very well equipped, so you've got tons of equipment on it, but it, it doesn't leave you kind of scratching your head as to how to operate things. Radio and um, nav system, again, a doddle to use once you've used it a couple of times. Um, and then your main controls, like the dual zone climate control, which can do side to side temperatures. Uh, again, just push button, twist knobs, really simple, but of the very highest quality. They've got a lovely actuation to them uh, that Honda do fantastically well. Air conditioning, by the way, is pumping out absolutely ice cold air. Likewise, heated seats working perfectly as well. Dashboard in front, all the gauges, exact, it's again working as they should steering wheel looks and feels pretty much as new in hand and everything functioning exactly as it should as well just checking the cruise control again all absolutely spot on just going to give the, give the brakes a bit of a shove when i get to this corner which is part of the test drive route anyway and it's a really good brake pedal on the car what i'm looking for when you hit the brakes of course is you want the car to pull up straight not pull violently left or right um, but also not to exhibit any kind of pulsing or juddering from the brake pedal at all. And again, this one's absolutely perfect in that respect. What the videos cannot get over is the feeling of build quality in these things. Um, and I always say it because it, it is true. You know, it really does infuriate me when you look at road tests for brand new cars with these motor magazines, and they seem obsessed by soft touch plastics and sort of thunky sounding doors and they think that's build quality well it gives the impression of build quality but it isn't build quality build quality is how it lasts over the duration of ownership and this is where honda cars are particularly good um, there's not a squeak or buzz even the faintest one in the car it feels like a brand new car to drive in every respect and that's every switch button you press so it, it, they don't sort of put cheaper bits you know for other switches you're rarely going to use it's all of a very high quality and it you know i've been in some cars which have you know uh, professed to have this wonderful build quality when they're new you get to this sort of age of mileage and they're creaking and groaning and rattling around and you know it's uh, you know i wish these motor magazines would sort of wake up sometimes and um, also i'm sure you're aware this is obviously a four-wheel drive vehicle albeit honda again quickly worked out that most people that buy these cars are doing exactly what I'm doing today just driving along perfectly good conditions um, so why have it operating and all it's going to achieve is it's going to use more fuel put more mechanical stress to the vehicle and chew your tires more quickly uh, this system is genius basically there's no buttons to press you don't activate it it does it all for you if your front wheels start to spin let's say on ice or you know grassy field or something uh, it happens momentarily then seamlessly and instantly the rear wheels kick in and it gives you four-wheel drive to pull away and after a short period of time it automatically deactivates it it really is brilliantly simple its simplicity is also why it's so reliable it you know we've sold thousands of hondas using this system and never put a spanner on any of them that's how tough these things are um, it's a you know, very very clever system as I said at the start of the video, the point of the video is to pick up on any issues. Um, there's nothing at all to report back. The car drives absolutely beautifully. Um, having said that, if you've got any questions about the car, please don't hesitate. Do give us a call.